Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you have created a data model, you may need to return to it at some later point in time to remove tables or external data connections from the data model if you no longer need them. You can also set the properties of the data connections within a workbook's data model. In this lesson, we will examine some of the tasks that can be involved with managing a workbook's data model. You can manage the tasks related to your workbook's data model by using the buttons available in the Connections button group on the Data tab in the ribbon. If your workbook uses external data connections, you can click the Refresh All button to refresh all of the external data connections and access the most recent data available. You can also click the Connections button that appears within the Connections button group on the Data tab within the ribbon to open the Workbook Connections dialog box to manage the data connections within your workbook's data model. You can then select a specific connection shown in the listing at the top of this dialog box to manage it. You can click the Remove button at the right side of this dialog box to remove a selected connection from the workbook. You will need to click the OK button in the warning message box that appears to remove the selected connection. You can also click the Properties button for a selected connection to open the Connection Properties dialog box. You can set the properties of the data connections on the Usage tab within this dialog box. Under the Refresh Control section, you can set the refresh rate for the selected data connection. This can save time in that it can allow the selected connection's data to be automatically refreshed within the workbook. Below that section, you can use the OLAP Server Formatting and OLAP Drill Through sections to set any additional parameters for OLAP data sources. When you are finished setting any properties you want in this dialog box, click the OK button to apply them. You can also manually refresh a selected data connection by clicking the Refresh button at the right side of the Workbook Connections dialog box to manually refresh the data connection. You can also view the area within a workbook where a data connection is used. To do this, first select the connection whose usage you want to inspect. Then click the Click Here to see where the selected connections are used hyperlink in the section at the bottom of the dialog box. The cells within the selected worksheet that make use of the data connection will then be displayed in a list within the area at the bottom of the dialog box. You can then click one of the listings shown to select those cells within the workbook. When you are finished using the Workbook Connections dialog box to manage your workbook connections, click the Close button to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.